Live from Collider Studios in Burbank, California. This is Inside Schmodown. You can tell Christian Harloff is back because he's throwing things at me. This is live. You can tell it's live because we got stream issues, but we're here live on Facebook. Are you checking in? I'm here, the pit boss, Cat Napsock. I got my Schmodown shirt on. I like my Schmodown shirt. Uh, Christian's giving me signals. Welcome back, Harloff. We, we missed you. Uh, on the Cody cam is Cody and Adam. Uh, a lot of people What's love this on? here. Now, last week I gave a tremendously honest and heartfelt approval of the movie trivia Schmodown app. I play it. I admit this week been a little busy, haven't played with it as much, but I asked a very, I, I get the, the four minute monologue on how much I legitimately love this app, that I'm not being forced to sell this app. I legitimately sit up late at night playing this app because I love it so much. And I pitched it to Cody, and, and Cody said, I haven't downloaded the app yet. Cody? Have you downloaded the app yet? Yes, I did, Ken. Yay! It's right here. I did get it. Yes. It's fun. It's a yes. good time. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, could people challenge you to live uh, contest there on the Movie Trivia Schmodown app? Uh, yeah, I've lost every single time. I'm 0-4 right now. You know what? I'll tell you what. I missed a Star Wars question, and I was embarrassed, and I lost a match. Uh, you know, I, you know, what are you going to say? And some, Someone tweeted me out. that Was that you I beat? It was me. You beat me. That's what happens. That is legit. I've seen. I've been in the office with Mark Riley, who curses and grumbles a lot. Was cursing and grumbling because he, a former champ, lost a match. It's a fun app. I hope you guys are getting it. Download it. Uh, iOS now. It'll be other places future. Don't worry about it. We're working on some of the stuff. Um, like I said, to to launch an app is a not only amazing accomplishment. I can tell you from personal experience from a previous job, it's tough to get those apps out there. So please. Keep playing, and and we're gonna have some updates. Uh, I sometimes I I get kicked off when I'm trying to look for opponent. I think you guys are running away scared, but now I just admitted I've been defeated. But uh, it is doing like gangbusters. We're so happy to have it, and it's an added part to this wonderful phenomenon called the Schmodown. And speaking of phenomenons. I think we need to give absolute respect to the ladies of Six Degrees, the misfits, who are along with their manager, Jay Washington, leaving an imprint on the movie trivia showdown, ultimate tournament, the ultimate showdown single tournament right now. Two big matches this past week. We had Miss Movies' Brian Chandler here last Thursday, and she goes on out and defeats Clark Wolf. This was a close match, 20 to 18, the final score. Um, I know Clark was slightly uh, upset at the outcome. Maybe, uh, you know, sometimes you, you get passionate about what's going on there. And I know she was a bit upset, um, but that shows her investment in this. And you can see from that clip, Miss Movies, Brian Chandler, uh, very humble in that moment, knowing that this is an, a big moment. But I think it also is, is in line with what the Misfits are doing, that they are sometimes overlooked. And I keep saying it, don't overlook them, because if you overlooked Sassy Stacy Howard, where's your bracket now? Where's your bracket now? They are bracket busters because we see here in this clip, Mark, Baby, Carrots, Ellis, and Sassy Stacey Howard go to sudden death. And on a deep cut question, if you're not a film uh, uh, fan, uh, which 60s classic movie was the first, you know, uh, X-rated uh, Oscar movie? I'm paraphrasing the question because I, I would have missed it. Uh, Midnight Cowboy, the answer. I think I actually, I would, Cody. Do you have faith in me? I would have guessed it. Yeah, I believe in you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can get around pop. But Mark Ellis didn't get it. Uh, and Sassy Stacy Howard uh, got the victory. But I, I want to make sure that we don't take anything away from Howard's performance there. She came out of the first round down a point. She, w she was down for a lot of the game, but she hung in there. And Ellis uh, faltered a little bit in the third round. I think he had a chance to win. But, but, but Stacy Howard, time and time again, sits over in those chairs and comes up with some big moments, some big answers, and a big victory. Absolutely her biggest victory. It was fun to watch. They are bracket busters, and they celebrated. You can go see that video. Uh, they were at, uh, you know, some Holiday Inn Express kitchen or something. I don't know. And they made a cake, and and they, they just for and didn't even slice it. They took forks and just ate all of your brackets. They ate all of your brackets. They are bracket busters. And Jay Washington, the voice behind them, I call him the mouth of the Schmodown, is still out. He's recruiting. I, I, my, my partner, Rachel Cushing in the Nerds Watch, he, he is really, really going out of his way to recruit her, as he should, because Rachel's coming off this big victory. Um, she's moving forward in the tournament, and we saw it here against the Android. That's a big win over a very tough opponent, and I know what up front and personal, I know up close what Rachel can do in these competitions. So, yeah, Jay should recruit her. 
Jay should recruit her, but Jay, back off a little bit. Let the woman make her own decision. If people want to ask me, what, are you in uh, Rachel's ear? Are you whispering anything? No. No, she is her own person, her own competitor. This is not about the nerds watch. I want her to go do what she needs to do, what she feels she needs to do to succeed. And if it's aligning with the misfits, so be it. So be it. But Jay Washington, give her some breath. Give her, give, give her some room to breathe. Give her, give, her, give her some space is what I'm trying to say, Jay. Although I love what you do. I love what you do. Let's take a look at that bracket. Let's take a look at that bracket, and we got uh, our special guest, Jen Sturger, will be joining us here in a moment, but I want to take a look at this bracket. We've got some big matches coming up here in the, what are these, the semifinals? I always say round two because I'm a dummy, but I think I go back to WrestleMania four. Uh, where the tournament that uh, Macho Man won, uh, that's how I look at brackets. Um, Miss Movies taking on Mike Kalinowski, the big matchup. JT versus the Insider. That is brother versus brother. That one is very, very good. And we got Stacey Howard moving on to face Rachel Cushing. I, I, I will always root for Rachel, though I, I respect what Stacey's been doing. Sam Levine is waiting for the winner of John Roca versus the wild card player, Jason Inman. That match is tomorrow. And a lot of things going on as this tournament comes to a very big close. We have already had some wonderful matches, some wonderful upsets. So many upsets. Some of you are actually upset at the upsets like it's some big conspiracy theory back on me cody look at me right now there's no conspiracy there's no script this is my score this is all i have i have these scorecards by the way i might auction these off high dollar <laughs> price um what you're seeing is the competition what you're seeing out there is what happens and you know what sometimes it busts our production brackets where we're like, you know, these matchups would be interesting. Nope, we can't do it. And that is what we got here. And one of the people who knows this league inside and out, because I see here, her here not just watching but taking notes, is the wonderful Jen Sturger. So glad to have you How's here. How's it going, Ken? It's going great. Uh, you are ready to go. I am ready to rock. You've had, I'm, not, I'm not sponsored, by no, the way. No, no, not sponsored. But I, I know you've had but a busy day. But I will day. take sponsors. I, I, uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for coming out because I know you've had a busy day. Always. Coming out here. You know what I was doing? What's that? I was help. I was helping Hal Rudnick find a dog. Adopt You're a dog. Help helping Hal Rudnick find a dog. He's gonna get a forever friend. Isn't that great news? But could you also help Hal Rudnick find maybe a team partner out here to compete a little bit better? Hal's had some big whiffs and misses out here. <sighs> I'm working on that. You're working, working on, on that? that? Yeah. I might like have, that. I might have something cooked up. Jen, you joined us a, a while back now to be uh, one of our reporters here and kind of look at the game. And I, I'm not joking. I see you over there in the corner all the time. You got your little notepad out. You got your eyes watching. You you were seeing these competitors up close. How how is that? Um, uh, watching, who are some of your favorites that you love watching right now? Oh, oh my God, that's so tough. I mean, I I really do enjoy Ma Mike Kalinowski. Mm -hmm. He's come into this league and just absolutely dominated. Yeah. Um, and I just loved his performance. You know, in the first round, we got you a clip of you interviewing here, Mike. Did, let me ask you this though. We let coordinated me jackets that day. Yeah, by you the did way. record no, coordinated jackets. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this here. Um, Mike is he's on a hot streak. He really is. Do and I think that that's what all 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 this comes down to is who gets hot. It's kind of like playoff yeah. baseball right. or March Madness. What team is going to get hot at the right time? Right. And like, is going to see it all the way through. It's not always the best player that wins these tournaments. Right. Sometimes it's just you get on a hot streak, you believe in yourself, you get that momentum going, and that's what sees you into the next round and you know into the championship. When you're up close interviewing these people here, and and you've got your questions, you got your game points, you're watching here. Um, um, what do you, what do you when you look at someone like Mike? Do you look at him and think good guy, bad guy? Or are you just you're pulling the story from his head? What do you feel about these guys up close? Oh, Mike. <laughs> He's Wonder Bread as Wonder Bread gets. I mean, he is all American. You know, he is Captain America he of is. the Schmodown. How he has not worn that costume yet, well, it's because it's Marvel. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that, I mean, that that's who he is as a person. Like, yeah. he's not putting any of that on. Yeah. Um, he's a good guy. And I think that that really shows through. I mean, one day something's going to happen. You're going to drop some question on him that he's going to snap, I'm sure. You think he's going to snap? I mean, we can all be... Who? Rainbows and kittens for so long before we lose it, right? Rainbows, kittens, and forever friends, as you <laughs> call them there. Um, what, is, uh, what has been the toughest interview you've had? Who here in the Schmodown do you just, when you're like, I got to interview this person, who is the toughest, what and why? Um, you know, I think the one that I, I identified with the most was Clark. I yeah. felt 
genuinely upset for her when she lost to Miss Movies. Um, mm -hmm. You could just see it on her face that once, you know, once that first round was done, she just, the wind had kind of been taken out of her yeah. sails. I think that she gets down on herself very easily. Mm -hmm. And so as an interviewer, you know, you just kind of like to be there with the person yeah. and let them know that you're on their side and they're always supporting them, you know, while trying to maintain, you know, a level of... Of yeah. fairness, but I, God, the interview with Clark was was pretty brutal. Do not you gonna lie. do you ever become? Yeah, you're a sports fan and a sports expert, and you know that part of the success of your job is to just kind of find the stories, tell it what it is. Yeah. You mentioned a connection to Clark. Clark, do you do you find yourself rooting for certain people? You don't have to give names, but do you find yourself watching these matches, going, "I hope that person wins, and I hope that person JT loses." Sorry. I think knowing the player's backstory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think knowing the player's backstory yeah. really does make you invested into players that you're like, God, I know I shouldn't even be rooting for this person, but I am, and I don't know why yeah. I identify with their story. I personally love a good underdog story. So yeah. I know it's not the right thing to do, but I'm watching the misfits just dominate right now, you know, in singles. And I'm just blown away. Let's talk about the Misfits right now. I, I, I think it's a good topic because we just saw two big victories. They're making waves. They made waves in teams. But to watch them do this now. And and some people, you know, I know they, there's a little bit of, a, of an edge to them that some people maybe rubs them the wrong way or this transition that happened a while ago. Miss Movies, we talked about the famous Kill Bill moment. But I am impressed with what's going on right now. Part of the thing is I'm impressed they've overcome a lot of people uh, uh, overlooking them. Absolutely. You know, it. she started out so Sandra D, and no one saw her coming, but she right. was quietly winning. Oh, That's Sandra quiet, D, yeah, by the way. Quietly winning. Right. Um, and there was just something about that match against Perry where, like, you just saw it flip. Yeah. And you were like, holy crap, who is this person, you know? I worked with Miss Movies for a while, and I just, even I was kind of taken aback mm -hmm. by just the complete 180 I saw her do. Yeah. Did um, you, could you see it coming? Were you see, not just maybe watching that match, but you do know her, you, you're friends with her, you work with her outside of this. Did you see something coming that would cause this to happen? Look, I think that if you talk to any woman that competes in the Schmodown, mm -hmm. they will tell you that a lot of times they feel like they are, uh, people just don't expect them much from them. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're very undervalued and very, uh, this is the way they, they put it on themselves, you know? Yeah. They just feel like people are just not expecting them. They have this underdog mentality. Right. And I think after a while of proving people wrong and proving people wrong, eventually you're just like, what do I have to do right. to get you to listen to me and to take me seriously as a competitor? And I think that that's what happened. It's, it's a parallel to real life, unfortunately. Ain't it that, that true? And, and we're seeing it play out here in wonderful ways where, where, where Rachel is dominating. Yeah. Rachel versus Stacey, it almost breaks my heart for them to have to to play, I but know. that's also that's the name of the game. You're gonna have to get in there. Let me, you wasn't it great though watching Stacy win. And it just, was. I Cody, mean, first put of up all, that moment again. We'll put up that moment again. Put up that moment again. Look, she is. There's the moment. Again. She was so <laughs> genuinely shocked. Like she was just like, holy crap. Yeah, and and, and to, again to the folks that might say, couple cores lights yeah. deep. You know. <laughs> well, that's that's him every hour. <laughs> and and again to the folks, we've heard this from day one. I've talked about this with the commission. It's fixed. It's fixed. It's it's fixed. It's not. It's not. That is a genuine genuine reaction from both Ms. Movies and now Stacey Howard. And and you can see you see it shine through those eyes. Oh, absolutely. I think you know Brienne had lost a lot of her confidence going mm -hmm. into this into this tournament you know I yeah. was a little nervous for her and she was studying and studying and studying and I'm at some point you're just like Brienne stop you right. have to trust yourself and your knowledge you and know what you, you have know the knowledge exactly you know what you know you can study all you want but at the end of the day when you get under those lights you can either pull that answer out or you can't yeah and sometimes that stress gets to us but I mean I think the reactions from both the misfits during their singles uh, matches were just there was just something about them where you're like, God, mm -hmm. I'm really not supposed to root for you guys. But, but you did. And you should. I mean, a little bit of me did. No, I get it. I get it. I look at this field of play, and I, and, and, and and they're standing out right now. They're standing there is out not right a now. single person on that board that I would ever want to do trivia against. I was gonna, I was going to ask you, you know, would you ever, would you ever compete? Because oh, I'm sure the floor, no. the floor is open, but hell no. <laughs> Why hell no? Why hell no? You know, I just think that I have so much more to offer the Schmodown mm -hmm. by remaining impartial and by telling the story. Telling I enjoy the, telling the story. Trying to remain impartial. Oh, Trying yeah. hard. Okay, up front, I want to know, because this is where I will definitely consider you an 
an expert in this field here in the Shimodon. You're up close and personal with all these competitors, interviewing them before and after matches and being just around us here. What do you think, not just in this tournament, we got a couple big matches left, not just in this tournament, what do you think makes a successful Shimodon player? Because we've seen some people come in and flame out. We've seen some people succeed. What do you think? What, take, what makes it work? I think what makes a successful Schmodown competitor is tenacity and just the ability to take a loss mm -hmm. and not wear it and yeah. to just move forward and move on to the next match and to not like let it weigh you down as a competitor and get right. in your own head because you can be your own worst enemy in this game. Okay. And I think what makes the strong competitors are the ones that can take a loss and go, yep, the wheel was not my friend today, or yeah, I should have known wheel. that one. Wheel's not the friend. <laughs> um, and you are a pro wrestling fan. You're pro, Absolutely. You've been in a ring. I have. Uh, you, you, you know I found out my neck was made out of graham crackers, you know, but I've been in a ring. You've been in a ring. You've taken bumps. Um, you understand the, the gimmick side of this, uh, which is part of you know, the outlaws. What, I love it. What, what, what draws you to that and what, in your mind, because you know it very well, what, what makes those gimmicks work and explode? You know, I think when it comes to the gimmick aspect of Schmodown, I think it's just you are so much more invested in a game mm -hmm. when you have a storyline to follow. Where yeah. if I can watch two teams play football or mm -hmm. two teams play baseball, and as long as I have a storyline that I am invested in, yeah. I am on it. I don't even care what the sport is. I will watch, like, literally someone do curling if I care about C something that's going on in that storyline. True line. story. Curling is Cody Hall's favorite sport. I love it. It's fantastic. It's yeah. so entertaining. It's the you, best. Would, yeah. you, would you be the front broomman? Would I, you, I could do everything. You I could do everything. Okay. I could be the one sliding down there. I could be just waiting. Just <laughs> He's good. It's fantastic. He's good. And, uh, and the Inland Empire, uh, Corona Curling Team. He lettered in it in high school. CC. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, we got about a minute left here. Uh, uh, number one, I, I want to thank you for coming in. I, I would Always. love to see you, if, if you would compete. Let's say for a moment you jumped in there. What would be some of your stronger categories? Oh, my stronger categories. Um, action. Action? Action. You, action. Are, you are a woman of action, I know. Action, comedy, okay. uh, romantic comedies. Uh, definitely not horror. That would no, be like, horror. yeah. Scary movies don't, don't do it for me. Don't give out your weaknesses. I know. Uh, what about Star Wars? Shh. You want to get in there, the inner geekdom, do some Star Wars? Oh, it is on. Star and what is that? <laughs> Antihero. Oh, Antihero, of course, you nickname of your fiance, who I have a giant crush on, Cody Decker. Aww, I don't it's hide mutual. that. It's I mutual. don't hide that. He's yeah. a great man and a very knowledgeable movie player, movie oh. trivia player. Uh, yeah, that could be an interesting development. You want to talk about a force in the inner geekdom? He could be a force in the inner geekdom. I mean, he I think is he the, could be a force in it all. The amount of. Star Wars memorabilia in my house is just <laughs> like what grown man needs two functioning lightsabers? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Jen, it's been amazing. I want to see you do so much more in the Schmodown in terms of just your, your, your input, your knowledge of, of wrestling and, and movie trivia and how it all works in sports. You're a great, great member of this team oh, here. Oh, thanks, Ken. Thank you for taking time out of your day. And tell us, too, you do a lot of work with this, these, these pet things. You're helping how? I do. Where, where can they follow you to find out some more information? You can try, uh, follow me at Care Rescue LA. Uh, we help mostly animals within the mm -hmm. Los Angeles area. But if you're looking for a forever friend in another city, I can definitely connect you with another rescue yeah. that we partner with. Uh, also, mm -hmm. Tim, I am going to be judging Tournament of Nerds Halloween show this Saturday. Uh, so that's some if fun you're stuff. in LA, it is the it's nerd great show. Stuff. Yes. F scout some competitors. Go scout some competitors. Maybe, Do it. Maybe I am. Find a, find, maybe I am, find, or, Oh, maybe you are the next Paul Heyman. I want to thank uh, uh, Jen for coming on in. You guys, check out the Schmodown Rundown to get all the really in-depth breakdown stuff. Download that app. And I want to thank my forever friends, Cody and Adam. <laughs> <laughs> making making me look good oh, over wow. there on Inside Schmout on here on Facebook Live. A lot of fun. We'll see you guys next week. We got the tournament. Who rolls on? Let me know who wins. We'll see you guys next week.